BF Day proudly presents Mr. M's Math Games and Math Breakthroughs. All right, and welcome to episode 20 of Mr. M's Math Games and Math Breakthroughs. Again, we're going to take a break from the Math Games and Math Breakthroughs and do another interview. We're going to be interviewing Mr. Jascott today. And I took all of your questions, and he's going to be answering um, some really great ones. He's going to address the BF Day ghost. He's going to address what next year might look like, um, why the gym is so dirty, and some other ones. Um, so I'm excited for you to see that. Um, and then after the video, um, our next teacher who we are going to interview is Miss P, Miss Papineau, who is a first grade teacher. So I know some of you had her as a teacher, some of you did not, either because you had another teacher in first grade or because you weren't at BF Day. Um, so if you want to ask a first grade teacher anything, you can you can kind of frame your question that way. If you had Miss P, then you can ask a specific question to her, but she will be our next interview person. So after the video, I will prompt you to go to Flipgrid or if Flipgrid doesn't work, you can answer the question or you can um, ask your question through Schoology. Uh, but right now we have Mr. Jaska, so I hope you enjoy the interview. All right. I think my favorite thing is being a problem solver and watching things sort of iron out. If there's an issue with students or something with learning or just any kind of issue that, that crops up, um, helping teachers and students solve problems and then seeing the looks on their faces when things are going better uh, is really rewarding. So that's probably my favorite part. So I've been here for eight years now, and um, back when I was principal at Northgate, um, I was looking for a change from that building, and the principal who was here was also looking for a change. And we have an executive director that supports principals, and he made the connection of, well, if you're looking for this and this other principal is looking for a change, um, he sort of engineered the swap, and we each sw uh, swapped buildings, and um, both very happy with that. That's an interesting question. Part of it is, yes, it's been hard on everybody, right? And the, the sense of, of losing connection with people and friends and family, all of that was, was hard. Um, but I also really uh, was happy in a sense to be home for part of that time. Um, many of you know my, that we have a dog named Lucy and she had cancer last year. And so we were able to be home sort of 24 seven to take care of her and get her through that. And, and just, you know, the, the ability to kind of be home and be safe was, was nice. So it was hard, but it, we were fortunate that, that we made the best of it. That's a really good question. And I don't really know the answer to all of that yet. Um, there's a lot that's different in our school district. We have a new interim superintendent and people that work downtown that help make policy. Um, we're looking to see what's gonna be different about the school day. We're supposed to be coming back five days uh, a week, but we don't know what that's gonna look like exactly. Um, we do know that we'll be at the three foot rule as opposed to the six foot rule. Um, but that's about it. And, and so like the question that principals have is like, are students gonna be able to eat lunch in the cafeteria? Are they gonna be able to kind of go out at recess with everybody? And those are still questions that remain to be answered. So I don't know yet. I think my favorite, um, I used to teach fifth grade and, and at the beginning of the, the time that I was at this school, I taught all the subjects. And um, towards the last couple of years, we departmentalized, very similar to what you do in your mini middle school. And I taught math, I had three groups. So I, I will say right up front, I was not as good as Mr. Maldonado. I truly reflect on that now and wish I had done different, different things. But that was my happiest time. I love I loved the groups and I love to teach math. So I have heard about this BF Day ghost. I have never seen it, um, but we try to do some attic tours at the end of the year. So um, our building is 128 years old 
and it has some really spooky things up in the attic just because it's dark and it's it's old and you can see student signatures from years gone gone by and um, I am told that that's where the BF Day ghost lives, but I have never actually seen the ghost or heard it, but others swear that this ghost exists. So I'm going to, I'm going to believe them. So the gym is a mess, admittedly. It, there's a lot of stuff in there. And part of the reason it got so messy is because teachers and, and the district uh, facilities folks were trying to move things out of classrooms to give as much space as possible so that we could be six feet apart. And anytime you're moving things without a real clear plan and, and trying to consolidate things and stack them well, um, without that plan, things just sort of get tossed in. And so some things are nice and neat and organized and other things are just sort of there. Um, so we have some cleaning up and organizing to do and some of that furniture will come back into classrooms in the summer for the fall and some of it will likely just go to surplus but it's a mess. Um, what's your favorite color? Green. Uh, favorite animal? Dogs. Favorite food? Italian, any kind, macaroni, pasta, yeah. That's favorite it. weather? Hot, sunny, just and like today. Favorite sport? That's interesting. I think I like to watch football and baseball, but I like to play volleyball, um, tennis. I would just say that it's great being a principal here. You are all awesome and I love working with you and seeing you and hopefully you feel that and, and know that we try everything to make this school be the best it can for you. So thanks for being a great group.